Hi there, today I want to go through a aspect of sector that not many people know about and that is WISP lessons, W-I-S-P lessons. So let's go through how you could create a WISP assessment and what it looks like for the students. So if we're going to my overview of assessments and I add an assessment, I'm going to call this uh, WISP 3. It's going to be the name of my assessment and I allow a WISP assessment. So I've got to check that box there. I'm going to create a um, column in the marks book called project and this one's going to be out of 40 let's say for example and I'm also going to make this visible so the student can see it as well and let's make this assessment due on the 27th okay so I'm just going to save that see it's visible by the students now let's go across to the students and I'm looking in the assessment section and in the upcoming assessments and I can see this one here WISP 3, which is the one that I just created. Now, they could also get that if they went to the course and they could see it there as well. So, this little button here shows that this is a WISP assessment. When the students select that, they can uh, start entering text, they can write a story, they can insert a YouTube video, they can insert a PDF, so insert web comp, a YouTube video could be inserted there. They can put in a table and put their work inside a table if they wanted to. And they can paste pictures and all kinds of things in there. So if I go insert an image, for example, and add a file so they can go to their computer, look for an image, and that will then insert that image there. So I'll select that, okay. So that image will go in the table, etc. So the students have started work uh, and what they can do is take a snapshot. So down the bottom here, they click the camera, just says if you submit the snapshot, they'll be able to see your progress. I click that down there and that is then sent off to me as the teacher. So if I now go to my marks book and look at this assessment here at the end, which is WISP 3, which is this one here. I then just select this go view WISP and I can see the work that Noah has done so far. You can see I can scroll between the students there on a mobile device I can annotate and I can see all of the snapshots. Now students can add multiple snapshots so you can see the progression of their work over time. I can give the work a comment, I can also uh, give it a mark if I want to at this stage here. But the power of the WISP lessons is that students can come back anytime and continue on their work. So. If I go get back into assessments, uh, WISP 3 is the one that we're working on. I can click on that and the students might say, okay, I want to insert a theme in here on my page. So it looks a little bit nicer. So let's choose that theme there. And I'm going to add some more text down here and I might add anything that I want on there. All right, so they can previews, look how their work is looking right now. And again, I can add another snapshot and submit that to my teacher and click on save. So over in the marks book, if you are a staff member, you would go straight to your marks book for the course there, which is great. And you go across to WISP 3, view the WISPs, and now you can see the latest version of that work that the student has submitted. I can always go back in time. That was the first one, and that was the second one. So I can see the progression in the work. Students can submit as many snapshots as they like. You can add a comment add the mark in there as you go along. As soon as it's marked and you've saved the mark in the marks book, then the WISP is no longer available for the students to edit. So they can't go back and keep editing. Once you put the mark in there or the due date has closed, then the students cannot edit that anymore. So that's just a quick overview of what WISP assessments look like in sector.